The SR-72 Darkstar is a concept aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, envisioned as a successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 was a legendary aircraft, known for its incredible speed and reconnaissance capabilities, and the SR-72 is intended to build on that legacy. While the SR-72 is designed to achieve hypersonic speeds exceeding Mark 6, there is currently no official confirmation of it being able to reach Mark 10. Such speeds would be a groundbreaking achievement, allowing it to cover vast distances in a fraction of the time other aircraft take. The SR-72 is not just about speed, it's about enhancing intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions with superior speed and advanced stealth capabilities. If it becomes a reality, the SR-72 could drastically alter how military operations are conducted, allowing missions to be completed quicker and with less risk of detection. In the movie Top Gun Maverick, the Dark Star was portrayed as a futuristic aircraft capable of Mach 10 speeds. This depiction captured the imagination of audiences worldwide, sparking discussions about whether such a plane could actually exist. Lockheed Martin collaborated with the filmmakers to create a realistic mock-up for the film, but it was strictly a non-operational model designed for cinematic purposes. Despite its fictional nature, the depiction of the Dark Star served as a powerful reminder of the potential capabilities that the aerospace industry could one day achieve. The movie fueled speculation and rumors, but as of now, the SR-72 remains a conceptual project without a working prototype. However, the hype surrounding the Dark Star has kept the public interested in the idea of hypersonic flight, reminding everyone that science fiction could one day become science fact. The SR-72 is expected to utilize a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system, which would integrate a traditional jet engine with a scramjet to transition from takeoff to hypersonic speeds. This dual propulsion system is a game changer because it would enable the aircraft to take off using conventional jet engines and then switch to the scramjet once it reaches higher altitudes and speeds. This technology is still under development and has not yet been demonstrated in an operational aircraft. If successful, it could allow the SR-72 to fly at hypersonic speeds without the need for rocket boosters, making it more practical and versatile for military missions. However, such technology also presents significant engineering challenges, including heat management and material durability at extremely high speeds. Overcoming these challenges is essential before the SR-72 can become a reality. Regarding armament, there is currently no official information confirming that the SR-72 will be equipped with laser weapons. The idea of mounting lasers on hypersonic aircraft is enticing, but it is also incredibly challenging. While the US Navy has tested the laser weapon system, LAWS, on ships, integrating such technology into aircraft presents significant challenges, including power requirements, cooling systems, and space constraints. Therefore, any claims about the SR-72 carrying laser weapons are speculative at best. However, if laser weapon systems were to be incorporated, they could potentially provide unmatched precision and virtually unlimited ammunition, as long as there is a sufficient power source. This would significantly enhance the SR-72's combat capabilities, making it capable of intercepting incoming missiles or neutralizing enemy aircraft with pinpoint accuracy. The US Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program is currently developing a sixth generation fighter intended to replace the F-22 Raptor. This program is focused not only on developing manned aircraft, but also on creating autonomous drones, referred to as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. These drones are designed to operate alongside piloted jets effectively acting as force, multipliers that can scout, engage targets, and even provide additional firepower. The NGAD aims to incorporate advanced stealth capabilities, AI integration, and sophisticated networking systems to ensure aerial dominance in contested airspace. However, specific details about the NGAD aircraft's design, capabilities, and operational timeline remain classified fueling speculation and interest from military analysts and aviation enthusiasts alike. Europe's Tempest program, led by the 
UK, in collaboration with Italy and Japan, is also working on a sixth-generation fighter jet with cutting-edge stealth technology, AI integration and drone control capabilities. The Tempest is designed to be a modular aircraft, meaning that its components can be easily upgraded as new technology becomes available. This adaptability ensures that the Tempest remains a potent combat asset well into the future. The aircraft is also expected to feature a virtual cockpit, allowing pilots to receive real-time data and control systems through augmented reality displays. Additionally, the Tempest will be equipped with adaptive engines that can adjust their performance based on mission requirements, increasing efficiency and reducing fuel consumption. However, like the SR-72 and NGAD, the Tempest is still in the development phase with a projected entry into service in the mid-2030s. There have been reports that China is actively pursuing hypersonic technology and making efforts to develop similar capabilities. Hypersonic weapons are highly coveted for their speed, precision and difficulty to intercept, making them ideal for strategic military operations. While specific details about China's response to the SR-72 or any espionage activities related to it are not publicly confirmed, there is substantial evidence that China has been investing heavily in hypersonic research and development. Recent tests of hypersonic glide vehicles and missiles indicate that China is making rapid progress in this area, potentially positioning itself as a serious competitor in the race for hypersonic dominance. However, as with any military technology, claims about China's capabilities should be approached with caution, as information can be exaggerated or deliberately obscured. Another critical aspect to consider when discussing the SR-72 Dark Star is the potential implications for global military strategy. If the SR-72 achieves its intended capabilities, it could dramatically shift the balance of power in aerial warfare. The ability to travel at hypersonic speeds while remaining nearly undetectable would give the United States a significant tactical advantage, allowing it to conduct reconnaissance missions and strikes faster than enemy defenses could respond. This would make the SR-72 not just a tool for rapid strikes, but a strategic asset capable of altering the outcome of conflicts before they even begin. Furthermore, the SR-72 could potentially deter adversaries simply by existing, as its capabilities would force rival nations to rethink their military strategies and invest in countermeasures specifically designed to counteract hypersonic threats. In summary, while the SR-72 Dark Star represents a significant advancement in aerospace concepts, many of its features remain theoretical. The aircraft has not yet been built or tested, and several of its proposed technologies, such as hypersonic propulsion and laser weaponry, are still under development. The idea of a hypersonic aircraft capable of Mach 10 speeds is certainly exciting, but it remains in the realm of speculation. Nonetheless, the concept of the SR-72 serves as a powerful symbol of what future military aircraft might look like. Fast, stealthy, and equipped with advanced weapon systems that can strike targets with unprecedented speed and precision. For now the Dark Star remains a vision of the future, but one that continues to captivate the imagination of military strategists, engineers, and aviation enthusiasts around the world.